this one mm -hmm. It's all team oriented. We all help each other out. Anything that I apply myself towards, I can usually learn it and pick it up fairly quickly. I think just in general, I'm just passionate about the work I'm involved in. People we have working for us have found their niche and they love doing what they do and they do it well. Richard Muller, he's awesome. He's done a great job. He knows everything about our business and he's just unbelievable. And we love having Richard around. He's the go-to guy when we have a question about the hardware, the software, the large format scanners, the microfiche scanner, microfilm scanner. He just uh, is a wealth of knowledge. We're a service bureau, which means that we do document scanning, scanning microfilm, microfiche, aperture cards, books, large format documents. We also have a vault in our building to store um, computer media and microfilm that has to survive a fire. One of our largest accounts is Nassau County Department of Social Services. And as a service bureau, you need to find clients uh, that have paper to scan. In 2012, we started talking to NYSID. We came across a large opportunity with the town of Oyster Bay, and we partnered on that opportunity, and from there it grew. And now we have approximately 20 people with disabilities working for us. Sometimes I'll scan documents, sometimes I'll scan maps, sometimes I just oversee what's going on. Not everyone's cut out for this. You need to be meticulous, but not too meticulous. You kind of need a steady hand for document prep. The important thing, I learned from my dad is that you give a person the opportunity and when you do that you see how they can do you know when he came to work for us he would ride his bike to work and then he evolved not just in our business but in his life now he has his own brand new subaru a couple years old he drives all over the place he's very independent you know i i believe that series systems culture is like every business it, everything starts at the top and if you treat people the way you want to be treated, uh, you can have a, uh, a great culture. Not a lot of stress, you know, we're all here to get the job done, but at the end of the day, I want to be surrounded by nice people who work hard and try to give them a nice environment. Getting this award has proven to me that if you put hard work and dedication into something, it will come back to you. And the other thing has made me realize when you put that much hard work and dedication to something, you get relied on a lot. You don't do the work we're doing, putting people with disabilities to work for an award. You do it because you feel that it's the right thing to do and these people need work. In fact, we're doing work at the Vatican in Rome right now. And we have three to four employees there full time for a number of months. And Richard was running the project for about a month and a half. When I was first told about the the project for Italy, I was almost in complete shock at first, but I knew I was being asked for a reason. Being there also gave me the chance to explore Italy. It was a wonderful experience. Very exciting to see people with a disability, how far they can go uh, once they're given the chance, the opportunity. <laughs> Not a problem.